Hi, I'm writer-director Seth Worley, and here's how I use Trapcode Particular to make glitter in my new film, Sketch, in theaters August 6th. Sketch is a big, funny, thrilling monster movie about a young girl's drawings coming to life and terrorizing a small town. One of those monsters spews glitter whenever it roars, and all that glitter was actually created in Trapcode Particular. And here's how I did it. Starting with Particular's default settings, I'm going to reposition the emitter position to the top left corner just to make room for us to preview this glitter once it gets going. Then I'm going to jump over here to the environment module, and I'm going to apply the preset titled Turbulent Gravity. Then in the Motion Effects module, I'm going to add the preset Drift X and Spin. The drift is a little strong, so I'm going to cut it in half from 200 to 100. Now I'm going to go over to the particle type and extend the life of the particles to 5 seconds, and then turn up the life random to around 20, so everything's a little less perfect. Then I'll turn the feather down to zero so we get a crisp, clean, round particle. Next in Particle Size Rotation, I'm going to go to the Size Over Life settings, and I'm going to drag the very last keyframe down to zero. That way, the particles gradually scale down to nothing at the end instead of just suddenly ceasing to exist. Then I'll turn up the size randomness to 10 because, again, perfect is the enemy of fabulous. Now in the particle color module, I'll set it to random from gradient, then set each of these colors to my choosing, keeping them somewhat muted so the sparkles will pop when we add them, which is the next step. To add our sparkles, we're going to duplicate the system, then go to the particle color settings and change it back to at start and then leave the color white. Then under opacity, in the opacity over life controls, we're gonna use this little handle to drag all the keyframes down to zero. Then we'll change to draw mode by clicking this pencil and then change the curve mode down here from Bezier to linear, which will allow us to draw really sharp adjustments on this little timeline. So sharp, in fact, we're just gonna do these little blips like this. And now we get sparkly flashes. Obviously, you should adjust everything to your taste, but here I think I might turn the size on these sparkles up one notch just to help them pop. Lastly, here in particular, you can and should go through this second system and delete any modules where you didn't make any changes, so they'll just inherit those settings from the primary system. That way, you can make changes in those areas to the primary system, and they'll be automatically applied to the second system as well. Then, back in After Effects, under Particulars Rendering Settings, I'll set Motion Blur to On, and the last step is to apply Red Giant Optical Glow, setting highlights only to 75 or so in order to make just the sparkles pop and then we'll turn the amount down to taste here i'll do five and that's essentially how i made glitter for all these shots in sketch which by the way hits theaters august 6th and you can get your tickets today so do that please